Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Pokemon TCG Trainer's Toolkit. Now this is the second Trainer's Toolkit that I've opened up on my channel. This one is the one released in 2021. It is a blue colored toolkit box and is featured with Crobat V. So this box I did purchase from Walmart for $29.98. On the front of the box, you can see some of the items that you get on the inside. Four booster packs, 50 trainer cards and other competitive cards, some card sleeves, an online TCG code card, and then some other items to play the TCG. As you can see on the front of the box, the trainer's toolkit is everything you need to build a powerful deck. And I'll flip the camera angle, and here's everything that you get on the inside. Of course, I have my playmat that I won at a League Cup, so I am a competitive player and really hoping to get back into it when the standard format rotates at the end of August. So I'll get this opened up. Like I said, I purchased this from my local Walmart. The featured Pokemon would be Crobat V. I know the other trainer's toolkit, the Dene GX there. I have my scissors handy. I'll cut into the box very carefully. I believe the cover just slides off. I actually have a few of these trainer's toolkits, the older ones still sealed. I just like the special promo cards that are with. Okay, so it is just like a normal box that you can store things in, which is nice. Here would be the card sleeves. Sort of a Pokeball on there. Lots of energy cards. Where there would be the Crobat V. It is a Black Star promo. Very good ability. I'll give away the code card as well. Here would be the energy cards. So many. Energy cards are relatively cheap to purchase. The coin flip dice, and I do like the fact that they're going from 10 to 160 for sure. Before, if you bought a theme deck or something like that, an elite trainer box, it was just one through six like a normal dice. What else is in here? The rule sheet, and I would highly recommend the TCG online for learning how to play. Looks like the Builder's Guide as well. Be interesting to see what's inside here. And I do have a whole series of videos on tips for deck building. I think that is it inside of the box. So I'll seal it back up and at least, even if I don't get anything from the booster packs or use any of the cards competitively, I have a nice container to store my cards. All right, so here's a better look at the trading card game rules. Very similar to the other rule booklets out there. Here's a better look at the sleeves. It does look like they're a glossy finish. I know, what was it? Starting with Shining Fates, matte sleeves, which I was not a fan of. The four booster packs, two of the newest main expansion at this time, not much longer in Chilling Rain, and then one of Vivid Voltage as well as Sword and Shield base set. So a good variety of sets. The online TCG code card again, that goes to one person. The energy cards, lots of energy cards, 100 total. Here's a better look at the dice, the condition markers. I do like the more expensive Elite Trainer boxes that have the gold coins in them. And then I'll take a look at the competitive cards here. So I'll do my best. Looks like this might just peel off, but I'm going to use my handy dandy scissors, just like so. Let's see, not to drop everything, but there's lots of competitive cards there. Let's go through these. So first up would be a Crobat V. Now you can also get this Crobat V as a shiny Black Star promo from Shining Fates, which is very cool. Of course, the reason this card is featured with the box, its ability, Dark Asset. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may draw 
cards until you have six cards in your hand. And my favorite deck, at least in the past year, has been Eternatus VMAX. This card works perfectly with Eternatus VMAX. Here are some more Black Star promo cards, Sabrina and Bryson. There's an Air Balloon, a couple of these, decreasing the Retreat, Cheryl. Boss's Orders, a very good supporter card. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. Similar to Guzma, could be a little bit better, just depends on how you look at it. Escape Rope. Evolution Incense. Rare Candy, another good card to use with Evolution Incense. Big Charm, always useful to increase the HP of your Pokemon. Use this on something like Zashian V. Same goes for Cape of Toughness. 50 HP increase with that. Bird Keeper allows you to draw as well as switch your active Pokemon. Leon, now this is a very good card because it normally is a rare hollow. There's a Charizard out there that does more damage the more Leons you have. Marnie, still have not been able to get my hands on the Marnie Tournament Collection Box. I don't know if they've been in retail stores. A very good card here. Each player shuffles their hand and puts it on the bottom of their deck. If either player put any cards on the bottom of their deck in this way, you draw five cards and your opponent draws four cards. Metal Saucer, great way to accelerate energy. Ordinary Rod, lots of competitive cards. And Crushing Hammer, a very disruptive trainer card. And as you'll see, the bottom left of every card has a letter in it. And that's how the sets or the cards playable in the standard format are going to be identified into the future. Telescope Excite. This is a great box overall if you are looking to build a competitive deck. Professor's Research. Discard your hand and draw seven cards. Quick Ball. I pair this Quick Ball with the Metal Saucer and just discard a Metal Energy. Go get a Pokemon. A rare Candy here, like I was talking about. Skipping over the Stage 1 evolution to quickly get to a Stage 2. Level Ball. Another way to go and find a Pokemon. Bruno. Switch, always useful trainer card. Scoop Up Net, another card that I used in my Eternatus VMAX deck with Galarian Zigzagoon, its ability allowing you to put 10 damage on one of your opponent's Pokemon, then I just scoop that up and reuse its ability. And then some special energy cards, Coding Metal Energy, Single Strike Energy, of course, with Battle Styles. The Single Strike and Rapid Strike mechanism was introduced, and that's continued with Chilling Rain. I personally prefer the single strike attackers to the rapid strike, rapid strike attackers. Turbo Patch, a great way to accelerate energy. Karina's Focus. Capture Energy. And then a Miss Magius, which is a Black Star promo. So let's get to opening up these packs. And I do believe in the previous trainer's toolkit, the Dedenne GX was a full art. But like I said, you can go out and buy the Crobat Premium Collection Box and get that shiny Crobat V. Let's see what happens with the booster packs. I'll open up the oldest set first in Sword and Shield base set. Of course, the first set to include V and V Max. Let's see what happens in this one. And for those just into the TCG, a green color code card here. I can give this one away. Redeem after the Pokemon.com URL indicating a rare non hollow in the rare spot of the pack. A white colored code card is what you're looking for to indicate something good. Four and then two to move the rare and reverse hollow to the back. First pack of the four starts with Baltoy, Kufant, Krabby, Yamper, Silicobra, Darkness Sipe Energy, Bisharp, Drizzile. This card, I think, is seeing some run. Shady Dealings. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. So a pretty good ability on the card. Rotom Bike. Rhyhorn as the Reverse Hollow, a common. And then Graplock as the Rare. Now, me personally, 
I have pulled lots of good cards from Sword and Shield base set. It's a little bit older of a set. So certainly hoping to get better pulls from a newer set like Vivid Voltage or Chilling Rain. Vivid Voltage, one of my favorite Sword and Shield series sets. Of course, it is based around Pikachu. Would love to pull the Pikachu VMAX Rainbow Rare out, and that would be a white colored code card. So I am getting a rare haul or better in this pack. The pack starts with Pharaoh Seed, Joltik, Sandile, C Dot, Picky Peck, Darkness Type Energy, Alistair, Matang, Kakuna, Reverse Soul of a Mightyena, an Uncommon. You can get amazing rares in this set as well. Those come in the reverse solo spot. And then Tornadus, a rare hollow as the final card. So I won't be shut out from the packs. Of course, I summarize all of my good pulls at the end of the video. Only one good pull so far from four packs. That's sort of what you would expect. One good pull out of four packs. Chilling Rain, now the newest set in the TCG, based around both forms of Calyrex, Ice Rider and Shadow Rider. And then, of course, they have the Legendary Burrs, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno, available as Galarian. The Moltres, really any of the alternate arts I would love to pull from one of these packs. The chase card for me from Chilling Rain, I have not pulled it yet, would be the gold-colored Snorlax. Lettybuff starts this one. Squovit, Crab Roller, Grookey, Scorbunny, Fighting-type Energy. Path to the Peak, one of the most competitive cards from the set. Pokemon with a rule box in play have no abilities. Hatrim, Laron, Reverse Hall of a Crushing Gloves, a tool card that will do 30 more damage to your opponent's active metal Pokemon. This is an uncommon. Final card, look at that! That made the opening right there a Flannery Rainbow Rare Trainer. I was going to say a full art. Of course, these Rainbow Rares somewhat new in the TCG since the release of Sword and Shield base set Flannery, a disruptive supporter, a great pull, not only for a collector like myself, but from a box that is geared towards the competitive player. So Flannery says the following, discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon and discard a stadium in play so that would be a dab and elbow cough in the live chat for those watching as i premiere this video so let's see what happens in this final pack but the box has been made all right final pack here chilling rain let's see what happens hoping for something good set that code card aside and i would highly recommend the tcg online like i said you don't actually have to have physical code cards to get started on the online TCG, you can play with essentially theme decks on there. Final pack starts with Clobopus, Mareep, Ralts, Cast Form Rainy Form, Snover, Fire Type Energy, Echoing Horn, not a bad card, Cybold, Curlia, Reverse Hall of a Doctor, an Uncommon. Final card would be a spirit tomb so two cards to summarize from four packs and then add all of those competitive cards into the mix and i might be competing for another league cup win in the near future as soon as public events open back up so two white colored code cards out of four packs i'll take that any day of the week was able to pull out a rare hollow and tornadus then easily the best pull this is a secret rare the flannery rainbow rare trainer and just off the top of my head i would say about 15 dollars for a card like this but thank you that will conclude this video thank you everyone for watching before you go make sure to leave a like on this video and then subscribe to my channel turning on all notifications so you know when i post new videos to youtube if you would like to support the channel even more help with future videos lots of ways to do that you can become a patron of mine on Patreon. You can always donate via the live chat using Super Chat and Super Stickers. You can donate directly to me via PayPal or enter into upcoming breaks. Or you can always purchase my book, Pokemon Cards, The Unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide. But very happy with the polls from only four packs. I hope you guys, the viewers, 
get just as good of pulls, if not better than me, from your trainer's toolkits in the future. So thank you everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.